Of course, I can pull this data for you. Let me just get to the office. Sure, I can pull this data for you. Hold on a sec. It's in your inbox. Till not too long ago, going to the office was like entering a castle. The organization data was managed within the premise, and the security was monitoring and protecting everything that was going into or out of the premise. The basic assumption was that everything within the security perimeter can be trusted. Today, you no longer have to set foot in the office building to come to work. Companies enable employees to approach company assets through mobile devices and cloud software, regardless of where they are located. The security perimeter is no longer confined to the walls of an office building. Valuable business data transfers continuously between SES applications, YAS applications, data centers, remote users, IoT devices, and more, which makes cyber criminals' life much easier. It gives them a wider attack vector, more entry points, and once they are in, it can take months to locate. In the meantime, they can collect and damage huge amounts of assets. Clearly, it's time for a new security paradigm. The zero trust security approach, never trust, always verify. Across the industry, security professionals are shifting to a zero trust security state of mind. No device, user, workload, or system should be trusted by default, regardless of the location it is operating from, neither inside or outside the security perimeter. As a matter of fact, according to a Checkpoint recent survey, 52% of security professionals noted that their organization has begun or had completed an implementation of the zero trust approach, with 18% planning to start implementation during the coming year. Zero trust is more than just a concept. It's a tangible security model with seven security principles. Zero trust networks. When moving towards zero trust security, it is crucial you divide and rule your network. Identifying your valuable assets and defining micro segments around them create multiple junctions and inspection points that block malicious or unauthorized lateral movement so that in the event of a breach, the threat is easily contained and isolated. Zero trust workloads. Securing workloads, particularly those who are running in the public cloud, is essential since these cloud assets, containers, functions, and VMs are vulnerable and attractive targets to malicious actors. Zero Trust Data Zero Trust is all about protecting the data while it is shared continuously between workstations, mobile devices, application servers, databases, SES applications, and across the corporate and public networks. Zero Trust People with 81% of data breaches involving stolen credentials, it is clear that username and passwords no longer prove the identity of a user. Identities are easily compromised, so access control to your valuable assets must be strengthened. Zero Trust Devices With 70% of breaches involving compromised devices, Every device connected to your network should be treated as a threat vector, whether it's a workstation, a mobile, or an IoT device. Security teams must be able to secure every device on their network and isolate it if compromised. Two more principles that cross all platforms are visibility and analytics. You can't protect what you can't see or understand. A zero-trust security model continually monitors, logs, correlates, and analyzes every activity across your network. Automation and orchestration. A zero-trust security architecture must automatically integrate with the organization's broader IT environment to enable speed and agility, improved incident response, policy accuracy, and task delegations. And that's the zero-trust model in a nutshell. Want to learn more about how to implement Zero Trust? Read The Ultimate Guide to Zero Trust Security by Checkpoint.